rising stars woo welcome to week and five week at week and five Ugh. the heat is getting to me it's like 42 degrees here so um i'm hiding inside mr scott wanted me to to stay outside with him because he's playing in the pool but it is so hot my brain is baking so i um, wanted to do some shout outs first um big shout out to lee who has over 500 and a recruit in this month. Way to go, Lee. This is what the course is all about. It's about gaining star or superstar consultant level whilst on the course. We only have another five weeks. So come on, guys. Lee has already achieved this. So I hope you're pushing for superstar consultant. Um, Nathan, away on a big trip to America and yet still has over 500 PRV in. Way to go, man. Uh, no recruits this month, but... Are you going to bring us some USA team members? If anybody can do it, you can do it, Nathan. So well done. And a shout out to Danielle Rack, over 500, and a new team member. Way to go, Danielle, who is one of our team leaders. Um, she's actually handing the reins over for a couple of weeks to Lee, who's going to lead her team for us. So this is really good. Well done, Lee. You were picked because you're doing so awesome. Um... Linda Gardner, uh, you are really, really close to getting your 500 as well, so keep it up, honey. Uh, why is the 500 so important to us? Well, in being leaders, you don't get paid on the rest of your team unless you do your 500. And for staying on this course past the end of June, having your 500 in is really, really important. I'm going to be contacting anybody that does not have their 500 in. Uh, to have a serious chat about whether right now the course is really for you. So come on, guys, you can do it. I know you guys can do it. Um, what are we talking about this week? Well, uh, chapter five, power prospecting. Now, when we say prospecting, it always kind of seems really salesy. Really what I want you to see this as, and as Sarah Robbins says, it's more about sharing and giving information out about your business. The idea is that you want to share your business, share your products, get people interested because you want to get one of the three C's. You want a consultant or a customer, if they won't join you, or you want a connector. So you want them to give you referrals. So if they won't buy off you and they don't want to be a consultant, then you want to be able to say to them, okay, can you think of anybody who might be interested in joining Sensi or might really like my products you know can you think of anybody I do that all the time when I'm giving when I'm bringing back in my basket parties especially if it's a no I'm always like well do you know anybody else then because you know I really need to get this product out there and I'm looking for people who are excited to own their own business and really want extra cash um, you know and, I, and I'm also looking for customers because this is an awesome product and it's amazing the number of times um, people will put you in touch with somebody who really is interested so that is really really good excuse my hair it's everywhere today um, so a customer a consultant or a connector remember the three C's every time you're talking to somebody how many people should you be talking to five Five chats a day keep leads coming my way. That's what I always, always remember. So it doesn't matter whether it's virtually getting those chats or face-to-face -face getting those chats, but be talking to five people a day about Sensi without fail. You know, one thing I want you to do this week is I want you to mark in your book five, every single day, you know, your Sensi book. Yeah, that one that you all should have now. Um, this one, mark in five chats that you have every single day without fail. Get five conversations going and you will seriously find that you get more leads, way more leads, if you take that advice and do that. Uh, we did a call on conversion this week. I did a call on how to convert on and offline people um, by, you know, different methods. Go away and listen to that call because it could really, really help if you have fence sitters. Um, that call could really, really help you. So, you know, part of your personal training is to listen to the calls and stuff. Um, Sarah Robbins' chapter, chapter five, oh, it's a minefield full of gold. It's absolutely brilliant. Um, so definitely go away and read that. She talks about places where you could expand your, uh, contacts list. You know, your list of 100. So please read all the different areas that she suggests and then go through your list of 100 and add more people to it. You know, she talks about going through your email and contact list. She talks about, you know, going through, um, your friends list. 
people you meet with networking events, you know, stuff like that. Never done a networking event? Join one. There's loads of women in business. <laughs> business that sat in the other clubs and, you know, you can network in the gym. You can do it any way you fancy. Um, so have a read of that. Oh, and then my other page fell on the floor. Ooh, how pants. Ah, see, my book is falling apart. Here's my planning for New Zealand on the back of it. Very true subject here. She says not to judge a book by its cover. And it is so, so true. Whenever we're looking at potential leads, we're always like, oh, they're too busy or she's covered in tats or, you know, he's grumpy or, you know, whatever it is. You don't know what's going on in someone else's life. You don't know whether or not they need more money, more friends, something else to do, uh, a reason to escape from the kids, the wife, the husband. You know, we have no idea. So don't prejudge the book by the cover. Sarah tells the story of her $50 million person who she judged, uh, didn't handle very well, and then lost to somebody else and is now making an absolute fortune. Definitely read the story. You don't want to have a $50 million person. I hope we haven't. We honestly thought we had at one stage. We thought that one of the superstar directors, someone who's actually overtaken us, um, was somebody that we may have met in the past. <sighs> Turned out it wasn't. And that's actually now my really good friend, Angela. Mm -hmm. Like, oh my God, did we miss her? But it turns out we did not. So we haven't had a $50 million person. In fact, I'm hoping you guys are some of our $50 million people because if you're a $50 million person, that means you're making a lot of money for yourself. And that means total change of lifestyle for you and your family. And that's really what we're all after, isn't it? That's what we want. We want that whole beach money life. Um, so yeah, basically, I want you to do two things this week. I want you to catch up on all of the homework. Uh, Danielle, Kat, can one of you post what, you know, a list of all the work that we've had to do? I think Danielle's probably posted it. Or Lee, one of you guys will have a list. Please catch up. I'm giving you these tasks because they're going to help you grow your business, not because I've got some kind of perverse thrill out of, you know, giving you work to do. So I know that we have the leaflets. How many of you have actually done the leaflets and got them printed? That's that's the crucial thing. Uh, we did the referral cards. We've done the list of 100. We've done the in your car, um, you know, Sensi on the go thing so that you're able to sell and um, recruit your Sensi on the go. We wanted you to make up 50 samples and start giving them out. They're just off the top of my head. How many of you guys have done that? Is your website up to date? Is your story up to date? Do you have a photograph on there instead of some warmer on there, which is never any good? You know, we want to have the photo of the face. It creates trust. Okay, so they're my things. Oh, and my other thing is I want you to do five contacts a day. I want you to find a way of doing five contacts a day. Uh, I do a lot of my stuff online. You know, we... um fairly much live the beach money lifestyle that people want now so we share that with people um we use the social media to do that you know um scott is notorious for his videos where he's just basically saying hey guys do you want to do what i do do you want to get on this if you do message me uh i think we did one the other day i did one myself because we've just earned the cruise incentive which i really want you guys to come on come on i've already earned it so Yay! I want to be on the ship with some of you guys in Cozumel, Mexico. I'm telling you right now, we are going to have such an awesome party. You need to be on that trip with me. If you don't, you're going to be kicking yourselves because we are probably never going to get another chance to get together like this. Okay? Cannot stress enough. When these things come up from Sensi and there is a chance to have a global party, you guys have to take it. Because next time they may decide it's only going to be directors. Okay, which I hope you're going to be, but we don't know. So, um, yeah, so that's my train of thought completely gone. Camels, crossing, squirrels, woo. Um, so, yeah, five contacts a day. Come on, guys. I really, really want to see each and every single one of you with one recruit and 500 in by the end of this month. I, you know, 
next month there's going to be no arguing about it that is going to be the criteria this month it's a minimum 500 to stay on and i really want you all to stay with us because we've got some great stuff coming up from sarah um we're gonna have some fun tasks to do and you guys are just doing so awesome um so what else can i talk about holidays work in your business while you're on holiday uh, I'm currently, this is our annual holiday to Turkey, but I'm still working my business. I still have my catalogs. I'm still talking to people and meeting out at restaurants and stuff who are like, oh, you seem really happy. What do you do for a living? I'm like, yeah, this is what I do. Um, what else do we do? I have the warm room in our villa over here so that I can show people. Um, we can't sell it in Turkey, but people can actually see it. Like uh, there's a girl, the next door neighbor, they've come to rent the villa for a week. Um, so she's seen the warmer, so she's got catalog and she's like, oh yeah, I think I'll be ordering when I get home. Um, so if you can take it away with you, take it away with you, show people, take your mini testers. Honest to God, you cannot, if you are really, really committed to this as a business and as a lifestyle, you cannot switch it on and off. You really can't. It should be something you love so much that you don't mind sharing it. That you are constantly telling people about how awesome Sensi is. I mean, look at Nathan. He's in America. He's, mm -hmm. he's going to visit Sensi headquarters. How committed is that? I mean, you know, that's what it's all about. It's about wanting to share the business. I have all my Sensi t-shirts and my headwear and everything with me and my Sensi backpack. And I make sure everybody knows I do Sensi. It's really easy to take your Sensi with you. So when you are going on holiday which you're probably all going to do uh, over the next couple of months take your business with you find ways to work it and think that you can just take two weeks off and then come back and that it's just going to go straight back in and it's no problem at all yeah some of your family may moan and think it's a bit of an imposition but guess what they won't be moaning when you have a beach money lifestyle will they no they'll be enjoying it and spending your beach money so so really, that's all from me. Um, keep on doing what you're doing. Please, 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 please catch up on everything. Catch up on your reading. Um, each chapter five, it's full of awesome, awesome stuff. So I'm off to uh, go play in the pool with Mr. Scott now. So bye.